too bad. I was working before that, so... Uh... Okay, so... ABC versus Orange, no Lucian Esport. GST, Grand Finals, game number 3. ABC took game 1, Orange took game 2. And we are back to game number 3. This is a best of 5, so this is not the last game by any means. I am joined today to by Ninja Boogie, so hello Ninja Boogie. Hello. <laughs> it's getting old, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it's okay. I mean, we're, I'm pretty excited to have this series turn out. out. I, I agree. I was really afraid of this being like a 3-0 stomp, but ABC showing that they can actually take the win. And um, Orange, they ban out exactly what Mushi was banning out the last game. Keeper of Light Magnus. And ABC banning exactly what Orange decided to ban. Nyx Assassin and... The bad rider, but the first pick is gonna be different. This time it's gonna be a Rubik first pick. Last time, what what was it that they actually first picked? Orange or ABC? Um, it was ABC first picking last game, right? They uh, picked, Darks here. Yeah, they picked the Darks here. That's true. Ten seconds. So I know. Remaining. I know. Orange loves their Rubik. Like if they can get it, they'll Five get it every remaining. game. Yeah, that's well. In the mean, yeah, that's kind of like Rubik is a wild card. You just can do so many things with the Rubik, and it's just so annoying to play against him. So. I mean, it, uh, it's it's never a hero that you'll you'll say, oh crap, he like he counterpicked my Rubik, uh, something like that. Like, and you can never always like keep track keep track of um, like this, yeah, the spells he steals, especially like in the middle of the clash. Like, all of a sudden he ste he steals like a portal strike, and you're like, oh snap, oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh my four hero got stunned. <laughs> oh yeah. oh woe is me. Yeah. So. Yeah, we see the darks here coming up, and again it's the darks here. So they really like their darks here as well for, uh, for all, for your ABC, and they get the Luna. So they're gonna say no Mushi, Luna this time is ours. Mm -mm. But can I'm... they really play it as well as Mushi? That's the big question. I think Mushi is gonna be laughing. He's like, okay, I'll just I'm take AM mean. or Faceless Void, <laughs> something <laughs> like that. Five. I think they might get like Sand King. No, would they get Sand King? I don't know. Sanking here might be a bit early, I think. Well, I, I, like, in our past... Oh, I it's a <laughs> Told you. <laughs> when Shadow Demon goes out as well, because you don't want to have an anti-mage versus a Shadow Demon, that's very annoying for anti-mage. Yeah, exactly. Like, you, you're always so scared to pump up the mana break early level. Mm. So you can just... If you make one mistake and you're caught in the disruption without blink, you're gonna get absolutely <laughs> destroyed. Yeah. Well, there are videos around of uh, Shadow Demon destroying anti mage like game where anti mage playing saying Shadow Demon uses disruption, then uses the purge, and then anti mage dies to his own illusions. Five seconds that's remaining. like very, very sad, but that's what actually happens. Also, Shadow Demon against that PL is also very, very good. Uh, especially if he has like the defusal early on. Mm. But. <clears throat> hmm, what are they gonna pick? They have no more good support to counter like this. The anti mage. It was very smart of Orange to pick the SD, because if they didn't, like. Well, technically, we still have the bane of blinking support, which is the um, disruptor, but we never see him anymore. Mm, uh, that could be a possibility, but I doubt it. Yeah, ABC, I never saw them picking the. Uh, like, it's a hero that just disappeared. Like, it's like. Hmm? What ABC is lacking right now is they don't really have any disable. Hmm. They have like, AoE damage, that that we can give them, but uh, they have no disable, so they may want to go for... I don't even know if I should say Le Shrike, because they don't have setup stuns. So what could they go for right now, that has huge AoE... Uh, except for Sanking, who just got banned as well. <laughs> um, for me, I think the next two best supports would probably be like Sven, Lina, but I'm pretty sure Orange also realizes this, and they're gonna ban... He's gonna ban, I think, Sven. Because Sven has the AOE stun, yeah. Uh, like Lina that's... needs like the, the the setup to get her stun right. Yeah, they won't really. He, Orange won't really ban like Lina or those other main supports. It's more of like the setup stunners such mm -hmm. as Sand King, and I think they're gonna ban out Sven and maybe what other. Ten yeah. seconds remaining. Yeah, I say I go Skeleton King so support for the stun. <laughs> Five seconds. Chaos Knight remaining. support. Hope that, for a yeah, four seconds. Totally stuff. working out. <laughs> we, well, we saw in the early stage of the GST some team trying to go for a Juggernaut support, which didn't really work out well. 
So, it, it was a good idea behind the... Well, they had the next Juggernaut, so double involved, uh, like... I think I know what team. New Illusion Thailand. <gasps> yeah, I think it was them. <laughs> and Orange does that, like, work bad. sometimes? Because they did, like, the time they actually did it, it did absolutely nothing. I don't know. <laughs> they, uh, <laughs> they even bet the Ogre Mage, I, that's, uh, <laughs> that's the extent of, oh, I don't want you to have a setup stuff. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much it, and I think the last van's gonna be this van. Uh, well, they could go also for the all-in team fight with like a tide hunter, I guess, but that's like risky because when the when the ravage is down, it's pretty much uh well free reign over the map for anti mage. Yeah, uh, tide hunter kind of died off the scene really fast yeah. after the the big nerfs it hit, it got, you know. Like, yeah, the, the uh, ultimate flies just slower and l less range, or is it? Or w what is the uh... smaller, oh, smaller AOE? Oh, smaller. Well, he still has a very huge AOE, but yeah, I mean, like the 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 speed of it was really a big nerf. Mm -hmm. Like if you're like at the end and then you just start walking, you can kind of get out of the range. Not like before, uh, like it just hits you instantly. Mm -hmm. Earthshaker might be not. What do you think about Earthseeker? He has like a setup stun and a long range as well, but... Uh, he needs... Too many things, right? Yeah, he needs like arcane boots and dagger, but then once he gets that, that's pretty much all he needs. Ten that's pretty much the same for the, the Sand King, but the Sand King is just more independent than that poor Earthseeker. Yeah, because like, Sand King can kinda like, survive on his own. Like he if... has the, uh, the, the sensor to destroy and projectile. Yeah. And he can use his Boral Strike to like get anyway, off. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, I'm surprised they didn't ban the Sven. So I think... you are calling out the Sven for ABC? Yeah, probably. Unless Orange is planning Orange to take it. To which I doubt. Yeah, maybe. that would be surprising. I mean, where would he fit? Maybe it would be like aggressive trial lane with the anti mage on the solo sure. bottom lane. And Chen is going to be the pick here. So Rubik middle lane? Is that what you're going to see? Yeah, it might be. Or that's, that's actually a, a treat because Rubik middle lane is often a sign of Rubik getting flash, fast bling daggers and just jumping around and getting those spell steals and just <clears> doing the big plays. I, I just remember Dandy doing that a lot and then, then he just, no, no more Rubik for you. So Dandy don't play Rubik. No. <laughs> Ten seconds that was remaining. a bit sad to see. I never saw any competitive team go for Shadow Demon Five middle lane in Dota 2. Yet I know it's very powerful. It's just that he's so good of a support, right? It's uh, that's that's the reason, or you feel you feel like he's not good as a middle lane. He's, I mean, he can be a good mid lane, but I feel he's better as a support because, uh, like, his capability of setting up kills. He's just so great. Mm. Yeah. Well, like he, just, mm? he can be like paired up with almost anyone, and they can kind of kill the lane. It was kind of like saying Crystal Maiden support plus one is pretty much anything. Mm, back in the day. Yeah. So Vengeful Spirit is going to be the setup stun, but that's... Ten I'm not really sure that's what they actually wanted, because... Five seconds what can she coming. really offer right here? Like I she... don't know. I kind of disagree with the Vengeful pick. It's... Because, like, I don't know, Vengeful seems very weak. Mm, she's kind of like a niche pick, usually. We don't see her picked uh, as a support very often, except if there's Enigma. Or sometimes Batrider, because she I can also... Shadow Shaman. What?! Oh, okay, that's gonna be a Rust, uh, Shadow Shaman mid. I think the last pick of ABC is gonna be Beastmaster. No, no, Beastmaster's bad. Oh, I'm so confused. Um... So wait, Shadow Shaman middle lane? Uh, who's gonna go off lane with that? Rubik? Yeah, I guess. We saw RTK do that, but it was usually against a like, Ten like it was off laner mm. versus off laner. Because what they what Orange can do is like solo bottom AM against the Dark Seer. That could also work. Enchantress. Enchantress is gonna be the last pick. I'm so confused. Yeah, it's like battle of the uh, jungle right now. It's <laughs> exactly. It, it, uh, d does, doesn't it feel to you like a knee-jerk reaction to the Chen pick, this Enchantress? 
Uh, yeah, uh, Enchantress is like a counter. Like they just picked it just to be a pest against the Chen. So the Chen can't be as free, like pushing towers and stuff. Mm. So we have Ohio on the Rubik. He's gonna go middle lane. KYXY on the Shadow Shaman, so he's gonna go off lane, I guess. If I'm not wrong with the players, if they didn't swap. We have Net on that Shadow Demon support. We have, of course, Mushi on that Anti Mage and Extinct on the Chen. On the other side, we have Queen of Pain played by TFG. On Trash Player on the Luna, Winter on the Vengeful Spirit, Wong Wong on the Dark Seer, and FZ on the Enchantress. And he has a bug, so he restarts Dota. Mm. So what do you make of this game? Do you feel like it, it, it should go anyone's way, or do you feel like one team has definitely the big advantage? I don't know. It, 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 it depends on the early game, because... Like the four heroes of Orange, they're very, they're fairly squishy, and like with the AOE coming from ABC, they can take them down quite f fast. But mm. it really depends on the laning phase. Like I'm trying to figure out how they're gonna lane this or uh, Shadow Shaman. Like, is it gonna be a suicide top, or are they gonna do uh, SD anti mage top, and then like uh, Chen jungling top? But the thing is, there's an enchantress, so you can't really do that. Because if they meet in the, if they, if Chen and Enchantress meets in the jungle, Enchantress is surely gonna win. Hmm. Oh, She's gonna be and, able to steal the Chen's creep, and she has one more creep than he does at level one and two and three and until level five. Oh my God! Uh, enchantress learned the wrong skill. Healing. Unless this is an Enchantress mid, I don't know. I think that is the wrong skill. Oh, they want to go Roshan. That's it. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's that, okay, a smoke. Going. That's a smoke level one. They are going for Roshan. But they can, can they really do it? I mean, look at the heroes. They have the Luna. That's good. But Darcyr, what is he going to offer? That's not going to do a whole lot of damage. Queen of Pain is not going to do a whole lot of damage. And Winter on that Vengeful Spirit, what can he really do? Wait, okay, don't tell me they're going to... They Orange knows that they're going to do Roshan. Oh, that would be huge. I don't really know how they would expect that kind of lineup to go Roshan. Yeah, I would I would have never expected that. Oh, it looks like they're just gonna... We see if Tom gets healed. Oh my... Oh Can my. They, they are ringing on Roshan as well. One one's taking the damage, so they're just gonna sell up. FZ has to be careful! 30 seconds to show time. And they are not knowing that. They don't know that yet. But they. Mushi is just showing himself. Ping's going down. Are they gonna be able to take that Roshan number one? Oh. Oh no. Oh, it looks like they will. But are they gonna be able to escape after that? That's the big question. Wong Wong. Oh. Oh, they will get it. They will get it. They're gonna get it. Wow. Oh, that was. Genius play, but right now they are they have actually consumed a lot of uh, potions and everything But the gold coming from Roshan should be able to just uh, they, they, Everyone's level 2 now and two I and can't believe that though. just happened <laughs> I can't believe it either. It's 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 not like a lineup. You would say oh, they are doing Roshan. What? Uh, I'm so I'm wow. so confused right now <laughs> and, and this is quite smart. They want the the enchantress to fight the Chen in the jungle. That's why they're going aggressive. Mm -hmm. So they're doing it LGD international style with uh, the with the Darkseer tri lane. Okay. Wow. Well, Luna's gonna be farming with an Aegis. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of a waste, but I guess yeah. Well, uh, there's no really. I mean, you're not gonna sell the Aegis anyway, so. FZ is oh. actually quite low on health already, so has to be careful not to get caught. Okay, so they're not laning anyone top. This is the zero top strategy from Orange. <laughs> Does it happen quite a, quite often or not at all? Uh, I mean, I guess there's no point really for Rasta to solo top. So uh, I guess he's, he's just so slow that he's just gonna get cleaved away by the Luna. Uh. Oh, it seems like they just want to avoid that trial in bottom in the, in the end. Not really sure why. 
Yeah, I think they could have fought it. I, I guess they realized the Rasta is also bottom, so they're like, okay, we can. Yeah, like 1v4, uh, 3v4, maybe a bit too much. Yeah. Some more their level 1 spells are way stronger because of the Rasta and Chen. Mm. And Vengeful is like really weak because I feel they have to like to make this hero pick more like the stun duration is so low level one. It's like mm. one point four. Like and you have yeah. other heroes with way better stun yeah, duration. Exactly, and plus that's like the mana cost is high. It's one hundred ten. Duration is low. The damage is actually the damage is very decent, but. The, the, like the range is also very low, so in the end you, you have a, a kind of a wish washed hero that except for her ultimate doesn't really do much it, and maybe also in the case of aura stacking yeah, like I, I feel this hero was so strong back in the day like until it received so much nerfs which I found it very unnecessary and especially now that we have new heroes as well I mean Rubik pretty much uh, takes the cake now on, on all the supports Shadow Demon as well was well, he is not that old, uh, he's not that new, but he is also not that old when you compare that to the eventual spirit and stuff. Uh, Ooh, she has been around forever, throwing herself at the enemy in Dota 1. Uh, ever since the Chinese introduced um, the, the double roaming kind of thing. Top towers in bad shape. So they want to take down the tower at level one, and they're doing uh, they're doing it successfully. They see that no one's top, and they're gonna say, "Okay, screw you, we're gonna finish with that." And Trench is actually taking last hit. Hunter player doesn't. I I feel like he's not gonna be happy with that. <laughs> I don't think they really so mind because yeah, they, they, they just to want to take down the, the tower as fast as possible. I guess. Radiant's top Make the most of their early game. They already got Roshan, so that's kind of like a big deal. Structures. Uh, they already have a 2k gold lead in two, 3 minutes, Radiant that's kinda huge. Is he coming in? It's gonna be net. Who's that Shadow Poison? But level 1 Shadow Poison doesn't really do much. But it an annoys them, I guess. It yeah, and it also pull the creep aggro. And Hunter Fuller are actually taking a lot of damage. Is he gonna suicide to the tower? Yeah. Another phase yeah. begins. Yeah. That's like the most uh, anti-climatic use of Aegis ever. <laughs> <laughs> like nothing happens and he dies to the tower to heal up. Well, I guess it's a free salve. <laughs> that's that's one use yeah. of ages. Free, uh, free, uh, free HP. <laughs> yeah. So Queen of Fain got the uh, recipe of the magic one. So Flyter, boots of speed as well. And uh, Luna right now is going straight for Powtrit. So and we're back. That's not going to be the uh, Tranquil boots. It's not going to be healing and farming and AFK, she will be looking actively for those team fights. I still think the Tranquil Boots is a better choice in this game. Well, it allows her to just stand on the lane without taking any uh, harassment damage or heal up when she received that. Let's see, so I Chen is doing her his still jobs here. <laughs> has to be careful, Chen. Queen of Pinch has a haste double damage. That's like a very deadly combo. Radiance mid <laughs> oh, he's he's fogging her around. But he's gonna go down. That's the first blood. Ohio is in a lot of trouble as well. Not gonna be able to escape that one. And they wanna maybe go gotcha. on to Net now. Net is trying to stack up those shadow poisons, and he's doing a lot of damage. And that's a level two shadow poison. Good luck, Queen of Pain, being a bit too careless about that. And now I think he, I think he didn't expect it to be level two. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's actually the last game. Uh, last game it was Net also going for Shadow Demon? No. It was uh, the game before that. The first game, Shadow Demon maxed out the uh, Soul Catcher instead. Yeah. yeah. KYXY. A lot of trouble. Winter's trying to chase, but Winter is slow. KYXY is slower though. He's gonna throw a little lightning before dying. With a new effect that kinda look cool. Yeah, <laughs> they just changed it last patch. Yeah, it, it, it looks more lightning and less cartoony now. Uh, like, if Haunt Trash player had Tranquil Boots, he wouldn't need to go home. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly the thought right now. He, I think he needs, like, yeah, he's gonna go back to the base. And that's actually missing out a lot of, uh, of creep kills. FZ, FZ! Oh, disruption coming in. And that's gonna be a stun for a FZ taking way too much damage. She won't be able to escape that one. Punishment for your sins. 
Right now, I'm not sure how come she didn't see that coming. Oh. So this, the troll is gonna get taken. And the, <laughs> the skeletons are gonna get denied, so, uh, get killed so that they don't deny the rune as well. That was what the uh, the troll was trying to do. So 44 yeah. creep kills for Mushi, 33 only for Luna. And that is mainly because of... Oh well, she does go for the Helm of Iron Will, so I guess that's gonna be her killing uh, power coming in. Uh, I don't know, for me I just really like Tranquil because of the movement speed it gives. It, yeah. it gives too much. It gives, a, yeah, it, it gives exactly too much, as you say. It gives too much movement speed, armor, regen, he gives like, a very good active ability. It gives everything. And oh, here comes the big oh ultimate, catching a net as well. And now we see that they're... Oh, nice disruption. Not gonna save it. Mushi's here. Wants to catch a kill. Queen of Pain is in a lot of trouble. Queen of Pain. We see something is gonna stolen. And Huntsharper is gonna use the ultimate right now. He's gonna go down though. Mushi. Oh, stun! And Mushi is gonna be able to use that ulti, but he doesn't want to waste it. Winter using that swap. Very nicely done. Winter might be the target now. Mushi is pissed, and Mushi's not gonna get anything in the end. Radiant mid towers getting banged. Up. Wow, that was so well played by Winter. Are, do we agree right here that Mushi was way too greedy and didn't Radiant's want to use his ultimate? Coming apart. He could have killed any of the three heroes, but instead he decided to try to get two, and he got none. Hmm. Well, it is a level one mana void, and the damage is fairly low. Yeah, but like Luna had like. Maybe 200 HP top. She could have died there. The bottom tower. Mm, I don't know. 0. No? 0.6 of. Yeah, that's that's still uh, not that much. Yeah, and then you have to like take in count the magic the armor that each hero has. Yeah, plus the uh, animation for the mana void. He just uh, stops for a while and dance around. Nat is gonna just steal that uh, double damage and run away. And Queen of Pain taking a bit of damage. He, she's actually getting a. Uh, Brought down, she's gonna go down. Wow. Everyone coming in, the cavalry arrives and they save that poor net trying to escape. Oh, the net comes in. Chen gets caught, but I'm not gonna follow up with that. And uh, I hear multiple clary potion popping. Yeah, from Ohio. I mean, from yeah, Ohio Winter. and FZ. Winter as well. Oh, FZ is gonna get his. Uh, Bottom His little potion denied. Top lane. Contrast players getting chased Dyer's away by Mushi. Mushi who decided to go for Power Tread, Warman Shield, Dyer's and he's now going tower. for that Battle Fury. Contrast player in the meantime trying to get that Helm of Dominator, I guess, and start stacking. The we Dyer see Ping going down, do so they want to stack. Bottom tower. <sighs> Ooh, well, hmm? Oh, Rust. Uh, KYXY gets solo killed by. I guess he really wanted that tower. Tower is taking a decent amount of damage as well. He might go down. <laughs> uh, I think it's gonna get denied. Yeah. Uh, he waited a bit too long. I think he wanted to see if he could like stop the Serpent War so the tower wasn't in denial range. But then he redecided. He like he changed his mind and tried to last it instead. And he lasted it when the uh, towers were already focusing down the war. So some wars actually died. Yeah. So we see a little bit of drawing. FZ, Huntrash player, and Winter are probably good. Four stride. Winter has the smoke of deceit. Do they decide to go for it? Do they decide to go against it? Looks like FZ is first going to pick up the centaur. Hmm. Haste, haste is top rune. Yeah, it's going to be one one taking it as well. So ping's coming down. There's a smoke gank. And it's the Chen with his entire army, or should I say only two creeps right now. Shadow Demon is also here, he's level 7, he has maxed out Shadow Poison, that's a lot of damage. Have to be very careful about that. Mathematically, yeah. it's I think 260, it's 520 if you get 4 stack. Yeah, I mean it's, it gets really painful and pl players seem to forget that it gets oh, oh, really oh, painful. Oh, KYX by getting swapped in, he's gonna get uh, stun, chain stun and he's gonna die. Uh, Ohio comes in, but there's nothing really he can do. Or should I say, Queen of Pain gets brought away, but the Scream of Pain actually misses on the top lane. They do take down that Luna. So it's a trade, Shadow Shaman for the Luna. Not a good trade for ABC, I guess. 
Wow. Mushi's CS is insane. insane. Yeah, 81, 82 creep kill at 11 minutes in. So he's not missing any beat. And that's a Mushi that wasn't just farming on the bottom lane. He did go on the top lane as well to try to do stuff. So even though he was doing this whole movement speed, uh, full movement thing, he's still getting the last hits. Dive top towers can beat down. Oh. To scare away that Queen of Pain. Uh, I, I like how Mushi changed his playstyle. Like he knows he needs to be there early on to like scare the opponents. That's why he's always carrying a TP. And that's why he rushed the power treads instead of just going for a battle fury straight on. And oh they're gonna go for Roshan again! Wow. Cheeky cheeky play. Yeah, they should be able to take this down. Yeah, they don't. Um, Orange doesn't know that this is happening. They're probably expecting a, a, like a smoke king. Yeah, they, they realized it, but they realized it too late. Power in the middle lane is gonna get killed. Mushi is actually stuck in the in the wars, and Winter he swaps himself in. No, Winter, why did you do that? Scream of pain comes in, but the Huntress Rose is gonna go down, and she doesn't have the Aegis. Oh, she still survives. She still survives. No, he's gonna go down. The Rubik finally picks him up with a last bounce. Did you just say that? Very well. You know the drill. That was kind of funny what Winter did. <laughs> yeah, Winter, I, he gotta be like banging his face on his keyboard after that. Eh? And he may just stuck. Let's free him. Oh crap! I'm stuck now. <laughs> you probably forgot that Mushi had blink. <laughs> yeah, that's. I, I just. I, what just went through his mind? Like, oh, I I don't understand that. It's Radiant's mid one of those reaction hand. like. Two, you have two seconds to think, or you have like half a second to think, and you're just like, okay, getting. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Winter is actually pretty poor. Usually, when he plays supports, he does manage to get that Urn of Shadow pretty quickly, but right now, he's really getting nothing but Magic Wand and Boots and, and Wards. Uh, well, I mean, since he's doing that, like. Winter, even... what are you doing? He's dead. Yeah, he's so dead. Oh! Cheeky. But not gonna be enough. That, that's like one of... Th this area, this movement is like the most suicide I think you can ever do. No and he knows that. If you have no like vision, this. you just run into the enemies right here. I'm not really sure why he did that. He could have just won that Trouble way. Brewing that radiant yeah, yeah, true. But I mean like, the sacrifice that Winter's doing is kind of paying off. Because if you look at... ABC's lineup, all four of them has quite decent amount of items compared to like the That's true, that's true. They all the go and um, they are time. around like Rubik or above. And uh, uh oh, well never mind now that Chen actually gets his item. But um Yeah, three of them are actually right behind the uh the anti mage in farm. The uh, the network, uh yeah, Mush but <laughs> Winter is is at one uh, k net worth right now. He's like very very poor. Uh, it's okay. I mean, even even though Vengeful has like somewhat items, it's like he he's just a stun and swap. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, Will Will oh, Will is getting a purge, and that's gonna be his death. Guess what's happening? Oh, goodbye. Kind of pain actually goes back in and gets the kill onto that uh, Shadow Demon, but now she's trying to escape. She can actually. In the top lane, what happens? We have uh, Enchantress dying. And Enchantress Fighter is in a lot of trouble. He's trying to escape. He's gonna be able to as well. Yep. And it's gonna be Queen of Fang coming in. Not really sure what she's doing. She's gonna get like chain disabled. Oh, she has the Aegis. And she's just buying time for Winter to come back. And now she's gonna get those kills. KY is gonna die. Mushi is. Well, he doesn't have his ultimate, so the only thing he can do is right click. And Mushi right now is getting out right click. No! The Screw of Pain actually misses, but the stun is gonna prevent Mushi from blinking away. Winter makes that old teammate pay. That's the price Mushi's paying for not leveling up his blink dagger. I mean his blink, <laughs> blink. dagger, his blink <laughs> blink skill. Mm. Yeah. Like, I feel having higher blink is way more important than spell shield. Cause I don't know, like usually you max spell shield if like they have strong disables to really down on the enemy, although he's very low health. He's 
gonna get picked up by the Chen, and Net is gonna be able to. Well, he's not gonna be able to survive. He's gonna be brought down. Winter is trying to run away. FZ is still in the middle of the fight. He's getting entangled and lightning zap in her face. He goes down. And look at the higher build. Power trips, two bracers. Bracers plus magic one. That's yeah. like get to ghetto. I need HP build. Because he knows the Queen of Pain is just gonna be like face rushing him. Blinking in, trying to kill him within the combo, so he needs to pump up some kind of HP. Dyer's mid tower could use a little help. On Charge Burst, def desperately looking for his BKB, but it's not looking that good at the moment. Dyer's mid tower. Yeah, it's gonna be a, a few more minutes till he can get that. Mm, and teammate should have his uh, battle fury in a few few minutes, or should I say, even maybe a few seconds. seconds. Yeah. He should have it after the creep wave. As long as he doesn't miss any, but um, who am I kidding? This is this is Mushi we're talking about, so... Yeah. Well, Queen of Pain has BKB now. It's, he's gonna be more of a pest to handle in the fight, because they relied on Rast um, Shadow Shaman's disable to take down the Queen of Pain, but now that he has the BKB, it's so hard. But yeah. with that early early lead advantage because of the, the Roshan, the two Roshan as well, the tower, don't you feel like she could have done something like a, uh, I don't know, a sheep seek, a fast sheep seek? Would have been, would that have been better or? Uh oh, <laughs> everyone's getting away. No, I feel BKB was the right option here. Because mm. even if he has a fast sheep stick, he can just get locked down very easily. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. So not going for dangerous build, going for the, the safe, option. BKB is up. Darkseer has this mechanism, so quite a long time in fact, so... And uh, Luna might be the target here. But she sees oh. the enemy with the troll. She sees it, oh. right? They found the stack. They found the stack. Oh, that's not gonna be good. Oh, that's not gonna be good. One trash player, he sees everyone, he's just gonna run away. Lit around around the Rosie, and there is no... There's Mushi's no... gonna block him. Yeah, uh, he's gonna try to body block, but... Nope, that's gonna be it. That's gonna be the end of this. And now that they have the stack here, what are they gonna do? Can they really kill it? They don't have anything to kill it. Well, they have the Master from Wars, technically. I guess that could work. Not anymore. <laughs> they used it at bottom. Yep. Radiant's mid tower's coming up. Tower's just gonna. Radiant disown their mid tower. Take down some damage, but. The uh, best do something about that. Okay, so gonna tower. TP away, I guess. Yeah, they're all gonna TP away, and that's gonna be free food for the Luna. 30, 30 uh, gold a pop, but it's actually quite decent. And are they gonna try to? Are they trying to catch someone? They're just gonna try to take down this uh, tier one tower. Winters is gonna stack again, or no? The timing is off, so he's not gonna stack again. Plan down a ward. And there we are. We are starting to get that camp. Contrast player has only two of the move wave. Here comes the healing power of the enchantress, trying to keep his uh, creep alive. And Shadow Demon just is starting around. Oh, this uh, vacuum not gonna work. I think it has been fixed as well. So. What the vacuum has been fixed? Um, yeah, it, yeah. There's target. There's an area that you can't vacuum anymore too. So everyone's visible right now. They have shadow poison stacks in their heads. Uh, they saw. They know everyone's there. And they're gonna counter ward that. Now they have no vision anymore. Mech has already been popped. And here comes a stun onto Ohio. Due to that centaur getting changed, now we see disruption going down on the Rubik. Rubik still alive. Queen of Pain coming in with the BKB. Neo Illusion and Net is gonna go away, and Luna get the kill on the Rubik. Net gets TP back into base, and we see Mushi just TPing or blinking back into the middle lane. And Luna's gonna get her stack, so she's she's gonna be very happy about that. Yeah, the that battle of the stack. <laughs> It was very, very nicely done by FC. If you saw, uh, Rubik came in with the chance creep and she just st immediately stole one of the centaur and stunned with that. And yeah, so that was... Rubik got stunned uh, and almost picked off immediately. He did survive with the disruption though. Very nicely played. Mm. Tower on the bottom lane, probably gonna go down, right except now. the Fontrash player is a bit um, scared. There is no vision, is there? 
So they don't know where the uh, Radiant Heroes are. Now. Radiant TP, 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 Hunter player is gonna get thrown up in the air. And she has absolutely no BKB yet. We have the ultimate coming from Ohio. The Eclipse is coming from Ohio. Yeah, Hunter player is standing his ground trying to fight. But he is gonna die. Winter is gonna save the Darks here, in fact, and die for it. Selfless, selfless player, Winter. No, it's not being selfless, it's the life of the vengeful. Yeah. That's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> that's, that's true. You're basically a hero that throws a wave of terror to scout magic missile to stun and swap whoever is in trouble. I feel they have to change the name of Vengeful Spirit. Because, like, you know, having a Vengeful, like a name Vengeful Spirit, it should be like an aggressive hero. This yeah. hero just dies. That's like a protective spirit or something. A sacrifice spirit, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, Nether Swap should just be renamed as Sacrifice. You're, you're just like, if you swap an ally, that usually means your ally is in trouble, so you replace him. If you swap an enemy, you're just in the middle of five enemy heroes, so you're like, oh fuck. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, like, there's no way to get around it. <laughs> yeah, the, the only roundabout would be something like a Shadow Blade or a Blink Dagger, but uh, hell if the Vengeful Spirit is ever gonna get that item because she's just so poor. They, I guess they have to do something about her, maybe, okay, well, so I was getting jump on by a BKB Queen of Pain, and he has no support whatsoever in line. The final wow. you the ones you love. And I was saying, Ventral Spirit, maybe she needs something like a bit of buff in the movement speed or on in range, because right now she's just crappy all around except for her moveset, like the Nether Swap and the Magic Missile, which is still decent. I, I I think that her skills is kind of okay, that's ma what makes her unique, and the stun goes on Wong Wong, gets trapped, the stun, the, the uh, whoop, the vacuum actually was stolen, and now we see Hunter player coming with the ultimate, because he got hurt, he's slow as hell, he's not gonna get anyone with that ultimate. Things coming down everywhere, they know that people are here, they're just gonna back off and TP away. And Ned is gonna try to TP away, but... Why is he waiting? Why is he waiting? Is that... That's change creep, so that's okay. And they uh, want to go on Roshan again. That's going to be cheese if the, the Radiant don't do anything. It's quite... Like, they... The ABC used a lot in that fight, and then... They didn't get any kill. It's I'm quite amazed. Well, they they, used it. Yeah, they kind of bring him down very quickly due to the aura. The uh, double aura of damage. Like, right now, Luna... What she has is a BKB and a Hem of Dominator, and, and she hits for 224 damage when the aura of Ventral Spirit is around. And that's not to mention the minus armor coming from the Wave of Terror. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, I mean, if the if both auras are up, they like Dark get like I think plus down. 70 damage to all. So yeah, that's like a, that's like a free relic to everyone. Yeah, exactly. And since that was the third Roshan. Luna now also has the cheese. Yeah. So behind, I uh, know. Ohio is gonna get us uh, slowed down. Ultimate's gonna fly in, and uh, TFG is looking for that last kill. He's gonna get it as well. That actually pumped to his entire mana pool, but now Luna is gonna try to get away with the BKB. She uses that cheese, and the purge is gonna run out. And Hunter Ashfeller will be able to escape with that. That's only the second use of third use of BKB. Oh, there's no stun there. But Chen, 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 Chen. Oh dear, Chen. <coughs> this guy is uh, not going to be able to escape. Oh, oh, did they get the gem? Uh, oh, the gem no. was on the. Uh... No, he uh, Extinct was able to drop the gem and break it. Oh, uh. nice. Okay. Do does ABC have a gem? Don't think so. Oh, uh, that's a shame. 25 minutes in, it's Winter's team, and he is always preaching the benefit of gem on the Beyond the Summit channel, and yet he's not having that gem right now. Uh, I'm, I I don't know. I, I, do they need a gem? Cause, uh, like, for counter warding, I guess, but that's what usually what Winter's does is they go counter warding and then they just put back the gem onto the courier. Yeah. Uh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, one more kick, one more click, a hunt player. He's gonna get swapped away, and Winter's gonna be the sacrificial lamp again. He dies. That's sad. 
Oh, the Arceus gonna die as well. Oh, they didn't even get the tower for that. Yeah, I, I guess it's... I don't know, everyone backed up so quickly. And now Anti-Mage is just going down in FZ. FZ doesn't have a whole lot. FZ was gonna just oh, die like my that. Heart. Oh, that was... That was not a good fight for them. She could have yeah. got the sheep stick though. That's that's gonna be putting her even more ahead when she's gonna to try to go to single kills. Yeah, now she doesn't need to pop the BKB to kill Radiant anyone. Oh, she actually Radiant goes in quite aggressively. Has to be careful. Tower. Oh, they see the courier. Are they gonna be able to pick it off? Kind of pain. Yeah. Come on. No, the courier is gonna be going the long way around. He has no TP. What is he doing? I'm not the sure. They longer. yeah, the, the middle tower is just gonna get brought down and. She has to get a TP Can't quickly because otherwise that's maybe right tier three. Now. No, tier three Dyer's won't be attempted. Uh, mm. Couldn't hang on to that mid tower. Hmm. You feel well, the TP they could have defended that? Nah, uh, probably. Sheep stick onto K Light, so he's gonna get brought back to base. Uh, the power of the test of fate, or what's it called now? They keep changing it. Oh yeah, it's just a fit. Yeah, 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 I was, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was right. <laughs> they they changed the name of the heroes, not of the skills. Thankfully. No, because before the the ability to send it home was holy persuasion. And oh, that's they, true. Yeah. They changed. Radiant mid towers getting banged up. Winter is he looking for an aggressive swap here? Nature is gonna get popped. The Radiant's healing tower. attendant, nature's attendant is gonna get popped as well. Radiance toughened up their strength. They yeah, wanna they're... get that tower, but are they gonna get it or are they gonna make the exact same mistake in last the last tower? Back in gonna find anything. And they're just gonna back off after that. Nothing more. Has to be careful, it's gonna be cheap. And that's a that's a big mistake. So swapping up Nets, Nets is gonna go down. They actually even popped the ultimate just for net. And that is still not dead. Well, he will go down now, but Queen of Pain, TFG, is up to a godlike strength. And KYX, by got back, he's coming back. They want to go on KYX. Eh? The wall is here. The wall is here. It's doing tons of damage. The illusion from Mushi just cleaving everyone. And they are taking it. ABC. No, the. Where are the creeps? Oh, the creeps are getting killed by the wards. <laughs> wow. Actually, that saved up their towers, I guess, and Winter now is trying to escape. Yeah, KYXY lost a lot in that fight, because he bought out, he died, yeah, bought yeah, out, died. and died again. And it looks like they're going to be able to at least take one off, FZ, nope. They're not going to, Ned doesn't have the ultimate, so they Trouble can't really get it. Radiant's bottom tower. Oh, Ohio stole the steal, stole the, stole the blink. And now Mushi is going to be the target. Oof, Radiant. that force staff actually dealt a ton of damage, but here comes the big... Big, big, uh, Vanna Void catching that one. Now, one one is in trouble. And who's the other one? It's Queen of Pain. She's gonna be able Radiant to escape. Bottom towers so in the end, they, did, they still managed to catch out too. In the retreating stage. I thought that Winter, after getting that swap, they would have been fine, but... Mushi just came back aggressively and got that Mana Void on two. I think it was, uh, Darkseer was almost out of mana. No, uh, they got the Enchantress. Yeah, but wasn't the Enchantress killed by the, uh, AoE? I think it was the Enchantress because like, he got so captured, so that, I don't know, I didn't really pay attention to that. But Yeah, because Enchantress died, but I sh they were so close one to another that I, I think they actually used the Mana Void onto the Darkseer and that killed the Enchantress. Yeah, uh, that probably is. Um, yeah. so, so Mecha on Chen, on this here, oh, this side we didn't actually talk a lot about the items. Shadow Demon has the uh, Arcane Boots, Erno Shadow, Chen is looking for a Force Staff, he has a Mechanism, and uh, uh, nothing more, I'm not really sure what he's doing right here. They're jumping on the Queen of Pain, oh wow. Yeah, Queen of Pain, she's gonna TP out with the BKB. But that's a chart of BKB expanded, I'm not really sure what she was doing there. Uh, yeah, they, they saw Queen of Pain go in because of the obs they planted here. Queen of Pain was a bit far, I mean, she she doesn't have the vision herself, yeah. and yet she goes in. So Rubik, he has the Dream of Endurance, he has the Force Staff, so that's uh, a lot of HP and the mobility. But he still goes down, we saw that when Queen of Pain decided to go on him, uh, he no matter what you do, she, he, he dies. So, yeah. what do we have on Mushi? Mushi has the Mental Style, the Battle Fury, and the Reaver. So he's gonna go for a Heart to Shuras, going for the safety first. Shadow Shaman has a Blink Dagger, he's going for a BKB now. 
Yeah. Uh, once the Shadow Shaman has the BKB, and if the Queen of Pain doesn't hex the Shadow Shaman, whoever this is gonna be very very annoying. I mean, whoever the Shadow Shaman hexes is gonna die instantly. Wong Wong, he is looking for his uh, sheepstick as well, and he is very close to it as well. That's uh, like. It, uh, if yeah. he's able to get that in the next five minutes, it's Gonna looking huge, good. Yeah. It's looking good for ABC. So Enchantress, she has the Aghanim Scepter, but with the Aghanim Scepter, well, she has a Bracer too, so she is still not that squishy anymore. Uh, a Queen of Pain TFG, he has 1.5k gold, and Luna has the BKB Menta style as well, Helm of Dominator. But she will need more, more, I say. The creep stacking resu resumes. <laughs> more farm. Yeah, exactly. I need more farm. <laughs> it, it flashback to Dreamhack Winter. <laughs> like uh, stack, 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 stack. Chen uh, and Sven comes in and woohoo! Two thousand gold in one swipe. Uh, and, and then the opponent do the same thing with Garcopter, and you're just sitting there watching people farm for seventy minutes. That's <laughs> the reminiscence of uh, China 2008, where people were just farming with Medusa for 80 minutes and just yeah. saving up buybacks and then buyback four times during the same fight. Oh, uh, sheep onto Mushi, but can they really bring him down? Mushi has a. They don't have the chance. damage. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wong Wong just gonna come in to use one. Well, Wong Wong is in trouble now. <laughs> Why did he vacuum? I'm not sure. He was like, hello, and then he died because, well. So Chen disconnects. Yeah, back to what you said, China. But I was actually there in SMM 2009, and I watched uh, the grand final. It was uh, LGD, like, they weren't sponsored that time versus, mm -hmm. I think, E Home. Yeah. And it was such a farm fest. Like, Kuroki was sitting next to me, and. He fell asleep. It was like a seventy. <laughs> minute, it was a seventy-minute game, and the kills was only like five to seven. So like seventy minutes and only five to seven kills. And oh, then that's... in the last five minutes, there was one big clash. And, and then the, the team, to... yeah, the team that lost, GG. <laughs> it's like what? <laughs> really? This is the Dota game, the grand final. <laughs> yeah, that's it's. It's like the. Did you watch the first game that was broadcasted for the international? It was E Home versus another Chinese team. Mm. And the stream was lagging as fuck, but when I actually got to watch the game, it was exactly a farm fest because no team actually wanted to go on the other one, and it lasted for 80 minutes, I think. Was it like Spectre versus Weaver? Yeah, was something it? like that. And, and then yeah. you were like, oh, no way. Like the first game of Dota 2 ever broadcasted. Is such a boring farm fest, and you're like, no, <laughs> no. Thankfully, Zenith actually picked up Sniper to make fun, and then uh, he was the first one who ever got a rampage, I think, in um, <laughs> in Dota 2 and broadcasted. It was the Sniper rampage, and it was kind of funny to see. But um, yeah, the international one was a, a fair. Like, I, I like the experiment because it's it's making everyone play with such a little uh, little hero pool, and it just changes everything. Yeah, exactly. And they didn't have much time in the game as well. I think they yeah. only had like a, a few weeks or months. I yeah, don't know. that's, that's, uh, yeah. At the top it was like maybe two or three months. Or Guess what's happening oh, the now that Mushi has the heart of Tarasque, I'm not really sure what they can do about that. Do they have the damage? They need to sheep him, but even with the sheep, that's. But if they can take him down, he has no buyout, so. Yeah. Like... PC keep hanging. Oh. We're gonna go again. Is who's behind that? Oh, it's TFG. All right, carry on. Hmm. They can't really fight though, and I, I don't want to force Darkseer to buy out because he yeah. needs that sheep stick. Because their disable is really lacking. Like, because I don't think they can burst him down within one hex, so they mm. need to... Totally not, I think he's really, really tanky. And you don't have the the um, Shadow Demon on your side, so there's no Soul Catcher to help you to bring him down. You have no TA also to reduce his armor. Uh, the the physical armor, uh, the physical damage is just gonna come from uh, the the right clicks combined from, the, from all the heroes, like Queen of Pain with Luna, 
and with the uh, Enchantress and the Auras, but they don't have a lot of damage item. Take a look at Luna, she has utility items. Winter, what are you doing here? Oh, Winter's so dead. Uh, I think that's not even in a question here. I I'm... What? Are they really wanting to fight this? The wall goes down. The Eclipse goes down, KYXY is gonna die here. But uh, that's that's like a wall and a Eclipse expanded for for what seems to be only one kill. Maybe X is gonna die as well. Uh, but uh, they did manage to, to save uh, someone else. It was uh, Ohio, I think, who was uh, sent back to base. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, Ohio was. But no, I mean, it was the right decision to go for the, the fight. Because the Roshan is coming soon, and they saw that Mushi was pushing the top lane. Oh yeah, you're right. That that is something I didn't mention. Yeah, the, the Roshan that actually was going to respawn. And, and then the... I just questioned that Winter probably shouldn't have gone in that early, especially like since he's like level 11, uh, 13. He can't really stand in the fight. Yeah, but I mean, and it's gonna be stinking up the Roshan. I don't really know why. Here, Centaur, Centaur, do something. Ah, uh, there. That's a they good heard, They heard you. <laughs> They're like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Luna is gonna go solo on that uh, Roshan, where the other are gonna try to hunt someone else. We have uh, Wong Wong, who is in trouble. He's out of mana. And that's gonna be a very, very fast kill, because the ultimate from uh, Mushi not gonna be even needed. Yeah. But they take the Aegis, they take the cheese. But again, again, Wong Wong dies, and he's far, in, far away from his uh, Sheepstick. Uh, he's not getting it anytime soon, especially if he keeps dying like this. But at like, least there's only one guy who died, and they got the Roshan without contest. So, but I think point. they they need the hex more importantly rather than the ages and the cheese. Like, I, I yeah, but they they I think they don't want to just give the ages away to anti mage right now. He's just so uh, hard to bring down. If he has an ages, that's gonna be even harder, and not to mention the cheese. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that, that's a good point as well. Mm. Oh, like, you it looks like they want to fight. Shadow Demon is going to be the first one, but they do. They, oh, oh, they do, but they do bring him down. Queen of Pain wants to go on Ohio, but Ohio is going to get brought back to base. And in the meantime, Mushi is good pushing and getting the tower. The yep. tower is even going to go down, they don't have enough time. And Mushi is just going to blink away and TP. Oh, oh, oh! oh. Oh, here comes a swap, here comes a stun, a second stun is going to follow up, wow. and he's going to go down in the end. Was that worth it? Uh, they, Mushi, no, Mushi has no buyout. Oh, is that... Oh, he decided to go for the Eagle Song. Wow. Wow, if if they realize, like, or like, they take the risk, because obviously they, they, they expect Mushi's going to have buyout. So they're like, mm, maybe we should just farm up. Mm. That's what they're gonna do as well because we see that there's push, there, there's just splitting up, but that gives Wong Wong the time for another sheep stick. Yeah, he should. He'll have a sheep stick by the time Mushi's up again. But and I feel they should have. They hmm? should have took the risk, or at least make Mushi like buy out, like force the buyout, and then just back. Because if if they do that, then they know that Mushi would won't have a buyout for another five minutes. Hmm. And then they could just farm up uh, a few more, a uh, couple minutes after, and then push once they're fully ready, like once the hex is up. And we have the butterfly coming up on the uh, Luna. Luna, Luna, where are you? Yeah, he needs has... like a hundred gold. Yeah, he's gonna get it, and he's gonna get <coughs> it at the side shop as well. That's uh, you can complete the butterfly at the side shop. Yeah, you can. If they if they win the next clash, it's gonna be huge. It's gonna be. Net is gonna try to go the Queen of Pain. Queen of Pain. If she goes down now, she might. Oh, again a swap. Winter is gonna sacrifice again, and uh, Queen of Pain is gonna get brought down by Mushi. Mushi comes in. Mushi is just killing everything. Huntrash player standing there, trying to oh vacuum in, vacuum in, and is everyone backing off? So Winter in the end only casualty of four. And also, well, the Aegis was a casual kill war as well. KY is fine. Gonna get the work back to base. Finish. The Glyph actually was wasted. Ohio is uh, just going down, trying to catch someone. But where are where are the others? Winter, uh, Mushi is coming in. 
going to try to catch the Gong Gong and he's going to be able to. Queen of Pain is the next target. They're going and trying to chase down the others and in the meantime, who is caught here? It is Enchantress. Enchantress is going to die. Oh, wow. no! She TPs away! Huntress player though, he stayed a bit too long. Has to escape, has to escape. He got a body block, but here comes the Mentor style. Mentor style not gonna be enough. The trash player still getting. Oh, she. He used it. Oh, wow, wow, she... wow. Mushi got stuck. Oh, but it won't matter. Oh, swap again! Swap again, but here comes the ultimate. Here comes the slow. Here comes the purge. And Mushi is gonna bring down this Luna. And Luna has no buyback as well. Mushi Winter is gonna die. In the meantime, TFG, he knows that they can't defend, so he's gonna try to split push. Oh, that's such a big trouble, bro. Like, I noticed one. Go to the TP oh. back. Wait, why did Mushi TP? What? I don't know. They they didn't. I, I don't know. They didn't know that Luna didn't have a buyback, I guess, so. He was just going for the safe farm instead, not. But that could have been huge if he went for the mid lane. Uh, I noticed a big mistake TFG did in the last fight, like, mm. he popped his BKB when he had like 200 HP, so when he respawned after the, uh, using the Aegis, he couldn't stand in front anymore, because the BKB was cooled down. Yeah, so. yeah, exactly, he... He couldn't, he couldn't be as aggressive as he wanted, so... Like, I saw him, like, think, debating, because he'd be right away. Like, he saw he lived, at, like, with 200 HP, so he was like, hmm, maybe I could bring down someone. <laughs> Chantra's also going for a Sheepsick. It's like Sheepsick party in that uh, team. They need it. Like, yeah, yeah, they really need the disable. And Queen of Pain got the MKB, so she's going to be dishing a lot of damage. But, but, it's going to come down to, are you able to survive the first onslaught as well? I'm just really surprised Mushi decided to back. I'm sure they could have got Lisa Rex. Mm. That's a little bit of a mistake made by Mushi, which doesn't happen so often. And <laughs> we are 40 minutes into the game, and they are going to ward this the uh, engine camp to avoid more pulling and more stacking. No, because like even though like he did, because the who was that Darks here, Luna and Vengeful was dead. So like even if Luna had buyout. If they force the buyout, that still is a good. It's a better thing. Like I mean, it's a good thing because mm. Luna would lose a lot of income. So I, I don't. Oh, know. net, net! Here comes the ultimate, and Net's gonna disrupt himself. But is that oh, wow. enough? Oh, he wow. is going to die in the same time. Did, did we, what do you see? Two down. Wow, they brought down Mushi, and he has no buyout. Oh, again, and Shadow oh. Shaman also died. Oh, he does. He does. He does. He, he has buyout, buyout and. Dire top uh, yeah. on top lane. You know no drill. one's keeping on the top lane? Oh, it's gonna be Enchantress going back. They're gonna force Mushi by out. I shall spill yeah. an end to all but they still wanna go in. There's 3 versus uh, 5 and... Dire well, 3 versus 4. And down. one last thing to mention also is that... Well, Chen is not gonna offer so much in the team fight now that his ultimate's down and mechanism is down as well. They need the Rasta Shadow Demon, so even if... They can take the Rax and back off. Yeah, they can they can easily take this. Oh wow wow! Oh Mushi, if he dies again, that's gonna be huge. The stun. He's dead. Oh no, the bird back. No, the test of faith not in time. Oh no, Mushi. Oh that mistake. Oh that swap, and now Ohio in the trouble. No, Winter is going to get stunned, and Ohio is gonna be able to just force that himself out of there. There and goes the Radiant's mid rag. Ohio stole the nether swap. He, who did he swap? Radiant's uh, the S SD. He swapped the SD to run away from the Queen of Pain. <laughs> you get there. I'm out of there. <laughs> yeah, this is... I think this is GG. Mushi made a really big mistake. Yeah. Oh, Mushi, no. Mushi. I think Mushi is like hitting himself in the head. He's yeah, like, kind of like when Winter actually swapped himself in the wards. <laughs> Something like that, but then yeah, but then Winter didn't made them uh, the, their ally lose the game. He he should have known the hex was cooldown. So like, and Mushi uh, rages <laughs> rage crits. <laughs> he is out of this game. He, he he knows it was that was his fault. Yeah. Like, 
Wow, I can't believe he just made that. Cause like, the Shadow Demon Rasta was out in like 10 seconds. It's like, why didn't he just wait? Oh, last ditch attempt. And Ohio saves his KY oh, X by <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, wow. I really can't believe it. That's that's very, very painful to see. Looks like Radiance Ancient is getting Oh well. Okay, so let's jump into game number four. Let's just hope Mushi can recover from that kind of mistake. Yeah, I agree because that's very, very. Uh, that has to be hard on his mental as well. And I'm pretty sure, like, even though the teammates won't show like that, I'm pretty sure they're disappointed. Like he made yeah. such a mistake like that. They they won't probably say it to well because well that's that's not very professional to say that. And they will probably talk about it after the game. But I guess there will be a lot of disappointment by that move that threw the game away. Exactly threw the game away.